Hi, I'm Abby Charlesworth and I'm a BA Fine Art 2019 graduate. And hi, I'm Will. I graduated in 2018 and again from BA Fine Art. So just to tell you a bit about my practice, I'm a sculpture and installation artist. I work around such ideas as materiality in play, in reference to play structures and spaces. I'm also about to start a six month studio emerge residency at Bath Spa. And in my practice, I deal with a lot of issues relating to touch and um, how I view the world through my own pro experience. I use the lenses of like glamour and seduction um, to show that in a, a visual way through cultural installation work as well. And I'm currently in my final year of doing a master's at the BXNU Institute in Newcastle. The Fine Art course is a three year making focused study where you would develop practical skills, build an arts practice and leave not just a degree, but the tools to network and progress. And the thing that drew me to Bath Spa was all the facilities that are there. So we, we were, I was like bought for choice, we had woodwork, paint, metalwork, ceramic, plastic, photography, screen printing, and they're all under one roof. And then you also have access to all the, all the facilities in the textiles workshops. And there's a brilliant art shop that stocks loads of stuff, which I was always going in and buying as well. Yeah, I really enjoyed the workshops, especially being able to like, make your mold in woodwork, move through to casting and sculpture workshop, and you could exhibit it on a stand in a metal workshop. It's that ability to move through all the studios and the workshops at the same time. I think that's what really sold it to me. One of the main draws to studying at Bath was a list of tutors who are actively practicing artists with experience in making, exhibiting, research and studying. Just to name a few, we had such artists as Jenny Dunsey, Keith Harrison, Natasha Kidd, Kate Squires, Rosie Snell, Camilla Wilson, John Wood, and Robert Luzar. And it's great that they are practicing artists because then you get a snapshot of what's really happening right now. And you don't get out of all universities. Um, I think it's a real big draw for Bath Spa. Also, other things that I really enjoyed was the visiting lectures program and the critiques that they offered when they came. You could sign up to have some critiques and artists taught both by staff and external visiting lecturers, which was a really strong like, aspect of the course. Going there every week and hearing from different artists was really beneficial to my work and my friend's work when we were there. I really enjoyed having the visiting lecturers come in and talk. So it was great to see what their work was, but also they were a fresh set of eyes to look at our own work. And sometimes they would mention something that we hadn't thought of or an artist we didn't know about. And it was just really interesting to have that external input. When I first walked into the art and design campus, I really felt welcome and I felt there was a great sense of community and kind of a creative buzz that was going on. And I felt really inspired and motivated to look and see and investigate what was going on. And I really enjoyed the tutors and the technicians who were working with me throughout my three years. And I felt really supported and I felt like they actually took an interest in my work as well and my practice. And I think that's something really important that you don't get with every uni. Even after uni, I'm still in touch with tutors and course mates from different years. And I think this really shows how supportive and how much they also would like alumni to come back. And there's a lot of alumni that work there now, which is also really good to know. And the university also offers other um, things as well. So once um, you've finished, they have a number of residency programs and fellowships. Um, which I was really lucky to be a part of. I was selected to be the Spike Island, um, Spike Island Studio Holder um, Fellowship. Um, so I had a year there, which was crazy beneficial to my work and helped me go on to doing a master's one year post uh, finishing the, the BA. And over the course of the, the BA as well, there are a number of trips you can go on, like regular trips to London and other local places like Rochecourt, um, the Holborn, 
um, the edge as well. So there's plenty of external things going on as well as things you can just do while inside the university as well. I found in my second year, I really started to know what my practice was. And towards the end of the year, I really found a relationship between materials and materiality and what that meant to me. I was particularly interested in repeat casting and using other materials to contrast the, relations, the relational aesthetics of the two materials. So that was fabric and plaster to me, um, as well as porcelain was a really good material to work within that. Um, then approaching my degree show, I started looking at imagery and objects and what was prevalent in my life. And I was really interested to translate those objects into kind of an ironic landscape that perhaps wasn't particularly funny, but was just a play on materials and words. Um, so these acted as sculptural interruptions. And in installation, I haven't got the foggiest. I used a lot of different materials. Um, so I printed an image of grass on silk. I cast plaster repeatedly in the sense of a pointer like this. And I made a wooden brick box out of MDF. And I also learned to use flexi ply and create these clouds that would interrupt the installation and kind of crawl up the wall. I also made some cement cast brick outlines. And I use, also started to use digital work in the sense of a projection that was also poking at itself. So it worked like this. And it was kind of a play on the idea of what my work was doing, but also a lighthearted um, addition to the installation. Throughout second year, I was really experimenting with movement, um, using motors within the work so I could. Um, do repetitive like human movement and then I also through second year was learning a lot about mold making techniques um, which is something I really really enjoyed learned a lot of woodwork and a bit of welding as well um, just so I had these skills ready for when I was going to leave and in my final year to make my degree show and I was really lucky that I got some funding in the third year so I could actually produce a lot of work which really ambitious work for my degree show. Um, some of my favorite pieces that I produced were, um, I wish I were a Mandela poor, which is using um, pop culture references to make work, um, thinking about body image, uh, things like that. And that was a cast object made from um, blush, and microscene wax and plaster. And that was set on a table, which had a pink light underneath. And another work was, I'm going to close my body down, ugh, ugh, which is titled from the James Bond film, Dying of the Day, and it's the Madonna um, song that she sings at the beginning of the film. So a lot of pop culture references, and that was an in and out movement. So the work sort of moved in and out um, with lights inside, and you saw this kind of like thrusting movement come through. So over the course of the the BA, there was loads of transferable skills we learned. So like things like making stretches in the induction to woodwork and using machinery in metalwork. And for me, making casts in the casting workshop. These were all skills that I took forward throughout the BA. And then afterwards when I graduated and found myself, found myself in my own studio. Um, Professional practice wise, there's loads of opportunities in the local vicinity of Bath. And um, Bath has a program where they take over Walcott Chapel, which is um, an old chapel in Bath, which is a beautiful space to photograph work and put on little shows and things like that. So that's something that was really handy to have extra space to actually expand your practice and try things out. And they do encourage you to do things outside of uni. So we did a number of shows in Bristol and in Bath as well. And yeah, that's just about really handy and like how to work with each other and how to show your work outside of an academic environment. And then going forward after finishing the BA, um, I was lucky enough to come back and actually 
there was a position as a technician in casting going because of paternity cover. So I was really lucky that I had the experience from my BA to be able to do that role. So I spent six months doing that role, which was really great. And also I volunteered at Spike Island in Bristol, which then that led to paid work as a uh, invigilator at the edge in Bath. And I also worked for two, three separate artists as um, a technician and like as a physician, helping them produce their work and also doing general um, things like making models of spaces and um, filing. Like that's one skill <laughs> you gotta learn if you're an artist, you have gotta learn to file your work properly and get a good online system going because otherwise you'll just be like lost in your own stuff. Yeah, I completely agree with what you said. So I have found that the inductions were invaluable. I learned to use a drill, which I've never used before. I learned to use a variety of woodworking machines and particularly in casting, going through the process of using different materials safely, whether that's using masks, gloves, just thinking about yourself and your health as well. Um, and I, I think that's probably the most valuable thing I took away from it. But within um, the three years, I was encouraged as well to work outside of university. And I started uh, volunteering with Fringe Arts Bath. And that was to help put on the arts festival that goes on in Bath that for two years. And that was really great just to learn how curators work and how to put a show together. And then you can also apply for it with your own work as well. And that was really good. We also did quite a few group shows as a year um, at Bath Artist Studios in their Roper Gallery. And it was, it was really interesting working alongside your peers and you learn definitely a lot of skills in how to, or how you want your work to be seen and how that works with everyone else's work. Um, I also did some artist assistant work um, with Susan Collis and that was really exciting. And I was working directly on her drawings for an exhibition at 17 Gallery in London. Uh, we also had a series of lectures with Kate Squires that should help us to apply for different opportunities, such as open calls, residencies, and looking at postgrad. And also an amazing resource they have is the photography department and you can borrow loads of equipment to photograph your work because I know not everyone has access to like a really good camera and it's so important to document your work well. Yeah especially to go on your website like it's been invaluable to have a website especially in this time where everything is more digital using your website as a portfolio really works and to have great pictures is something that is really beneficial for your practice. My favourite experience of Bath Spa was just learning all the different techniques you could do with, within all the workshops. Like They're unparalleled really with how many different workshops they have. And I was so encouraged to go in and just try things and just give just, there was just so much support and willingness to give us the time to try, try things. And often like with, with three bits of wood or three bits of whatever was laying around, just give it to you and just try things out. It's, it's a supportive environment that lets you learn by your own mistakes. They're not always trying to show you the best way to do everything. You, you literally learn by what you're doing and they'll encourage you to do that. So my top thing to take away from studying at Bath Spa is how much I learned in the past three years. Like it's insane how much my practice has changed, how much confidence I've grown within myself, but also within my practice. And I feel so confident now to go out into the world post-graduation, to apply for shows, to try new things out, and to really seek the opportunities that you need and the drive to find them. And I'm also really looking forward to applying for postgraduate study um, in the next year.